Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video of Lawson and Charger Franchise. We're here week 15, closing out the season. Right next, or well, actually next two or three episodes. Gonna head into the playoffs, hopefully in divisional, not the wild card. If we went out here. We're looking for undefeated season. More importantly, if you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you are new, if you aren't subscribed already, just hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Show your support, show your love. Uh, engage. Anyway, back to... This, we're facing the Bears in this episode. We're just coming off a good win against the Lions. I'm going to describe what team it was. <coughs> I was going to say it against Matthew Stafford. That's the only person I can remember facing is Matthew Stafford. But nonetheless, we end up getting a win there again. So undefeated, we are, what, 13-0 and or something like that? 14? I don't know. What are we? 13-0? and We're going to face the extract linebacker. I believe that's Khalil Mack. It is... And we're going to try to slow him down. Just don't run to his side. Which I already do that on the regular. Have one or fewer turnovers. It could happen, but... I mean, I've been doing all right with turnovers. I've just been taking a few deep shots lately. We're going to upgrade some players here. Who we got? Terrence Shade, who's a third-string running back who barely gets any touches. Is he still, like, hitting Dev? Interesting. Probably nothing to worry about. Nothing to upgrade him. Joe Reed, who put on a performance last week of... He was a Joe Reed of old, which I didn't actually didn't enjoy seeing that from him. It was very entertaining. You almost have 99 catching. Yeah, you're catching traffic stats. Well, your catching stats in general are just really good. And you're a really good route runner, too. I might consider putting you at number one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you might be my number one receiver moving forward. We're going to go physical. Which overall to 86. Get a lot of upgrades there. Plus two to awareness, break tackle, medium route, plus two to release. Sweat catch, stiff arm, and trucking for some reason. Yeah, I might switch you to number one. Denario Diggs, who is kind of my number one corner right now. You... I wouldn't say you really get burned, but <clears throat> you just need, we're going to go zone. You just need some work, man. Can we get that play wreck? Zone coverage plus three. What is that, 80-something now? 87 zone. Really good corner. Just play wreck needs to get up. Your press could kind of get up. We don't, well, we run man covers. Not really a lot, but time to time. Tackling obviously needs to get up. Mike Edgar, our starting center. He's going to go agile. That gives you awareness, run block, run finesse, and strength. Justin Jones, who's a third string uh, D tackle. Not going to really upgrade him. Alex Kappa, I think you're our second string right guard. Yeah, these people really don't matter a whole lot. Dorian Dale, who... Is the star of this series. Um, yeah, he kind of... I don't know. I, I was thinking he didn't have as good running, uh, route running stats as um, Joe Reed. What he kind of does. They're kind of very similar in play style. Just obviously a dip in overall. Very fast. Uh, really good catching. Good spec catch. Good route running. All right. We'll get that to... Um, all right, I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> deep route. That's no one knew yet. Deep threat. We're going deep threat. Awareness catching, deep route, release, spec catch, and speed. You actually get a speed upgrade. So he's 99 speed now. Bro, he's 99 speed. He has to be one of the fastest players in this game. 99 speed. I actually want to check that. Because that's crazy. 99 speed. So, yeah, there's a few 99... Uh, Speed receivers, not receivers, speed, speed, well, they're mainly receivers, like all of them. Tyreek Hill, Miko Hardman, Dorian Dale, Henny Ruggs, and Marquise Brown, who is 98. So, yeah, we're in a 99 speed club, and we're the highest overall probably out of all of them, if we're being honest. I don't know, Tyreek Hill's a 99, never mind. It should be fun. Um, I was thinking about making slider changes again, I... I know. So tired of me. I'm tired of making a lot of changes myself. I don't feel like our zone coverage is a problem. I feel like their coverage is a problem, per se. We're going to up it to 59. 
Another pass coverage to 53. Interceptions don't need to go, so I throw it in their direction. They will catch it, so that doesn't need to go up. We'll see how this plays. Up to zone coverage, or QB accuracy, and wide receiver catches, both on 90, so that is that. They have one X-Factor in Khalil Mack, but probably not a bunch, but a few superstars, I would guess. Yeah, Khalil Mack. Allen Robinson. Akeem Hicks, which is, eh. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right, let's get into the game. Thinking about it, um, this is going to be a hard team to run on. We already know the Bears' defense is very, very good. But then again, it is four years in the future, so... And you still have the head coach and... What is it? Matt Nagy or some, some shit like that? I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's just... Could be... The team still could be bad, but... Well, obviously, they're still bad. They're like 5-9 and nine or some shit like that. And... He gets fighting for a playoff spot. But it could be a tough team to run on. This defense still could be dominant. I would still have Khalil Mack. So, that's telling. Joe Reed, who did have a good game last week. Eight receptions, 106 yards, two touchdowns, 24 for his longest reception. And he could do that again. Any of our receivers could do this. We just have to key in on them. But the problem is, I focus on one thing way too much. That's just what I do. There was a title update that didn't really address... Well, you don't really address gameplay at all. They're just the game modes. And they don't even do that that well. Max Murray, who... I don't think we faced him, but we did see him on these, uh, like, MVP stuff and offensive... Uh, no, we didn't. We only saw him MVP. I would say we saw an offensive player of the year, but that's a lie. We just... We did not. Y'all yeah, not serious. Oh my gosh. That's Allen Robinson. He was very fast on that. I thought it was a tight end. But no, it was Allen. Good tackle for loss. Chen Nwosu breaking off immediately on that inside run. There we go. Oh, my God. Troy Apke on the inside rush. Getting there almost immediately. And we put him on the third and 16. Let's just back up on this, fellas. There we go. And that's a drop. Hey, listen, I put their QB accuracy 90, wide receiver catching 90. Up there, well, we can't really see what their zone is playing like or their pass score is playing like, but I up all that stuff. What more do you want from me? Like, I want the game to be kind of fun, but I also want it to be difficult. But it's like you can't get both. You can't get fun and difficult in Madden sometimes. All right, Justin Herbert playing better. 3,500 yards, 30 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Not trying to get the interception total over 20. Let's just leave it as it is, please. And we're actually going to run to this left side because Kalimak and Akeem Hicks is on that side. Please give me blocks. And they kind of did, but I just ran into my lineman, which I fucking hate. Didn't even gain anything on that one. We're actually going to block him. And see if it gets open over the top. This should be open. It is. That's Tony. Tony. No way! What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Holy shit. That's crazy. I seen Hunter Henry 1-1 one -on -one down, so I'm like, yeah, let me take a shot. 
Because that worst is going to get batted down like it was. And then he caught it. Holy shit. Okay, there's either two routes I'm going to. It's either Williams or Dorian Dale. I think it's going to be Dorian. Dorian, let's go. They kind of shaded to the inside. I saw Dorian 101. Not even 101. Wide open on the outside. And we just took our chance. We just took our shot. Yeah, there's like a lot of receipt not a lot of defenders on that inside. And just float up to Dorian. He's gonna come down with it most of the time. It's gonna put our lead 7-0 early on here. Uh we got kind of bailed out with a lucky catch. Cannot lie to you. Really can't lie to you. Let's see, someone tackle him. Max Murray, 2 or 3, 27 yards. Will they actually convert here? Actually, want to blitz? And there we go, tackle for loss. It's it's a horrible call for y'all, man. If you see how we play in the season, yes, we are not fantastic at stopping the run, but <clears throat> on a third and two, or third and three, whatever it was, and you choose to run the ball. Like, this is just one of those situations that's just, that doesn't have anything to do with me. What I'm supposed to do, let them get the run? No, pass the ball. And this is the wild card. Um, we're obviously clinched for playoffs. Probably going to get clinched for a bye. Because we're going to win our division. Raiders are in there. Chiefs are still hunting. And... Yeah, that's just what it is, man. There we go, Kareem. Nice truck. Was not expecting to run there. And even if they were, we picked up some good blocks on it. That puts him 1,500 yards on the season. First time he's done that. Well, they double Dorian on this? I don't think so. They're not. Yep, there's a flag. Come on, man. And another flag. What is this? A hold? Defensive pass interference. Wow. They're calling that? Like, yeah, obviously it was contact, but it's like... At what point do you just let them play, though? And that's an easy touchdown. Kareem Hunt is going to put us up 14 to 0. And we're up early in this first quarter. It's still early in this first quarter. Not really. It's a little like halfway through midway. Those mean the same thing. <laughs> halfway through like end of first quarter because there's three minutes left in this first quarter. Still a lot of time, but. I don't think your defense is going to be the one to stop us, and your offense has not gained a first down yet. So the Bears, looking like what their records say they are, 5-7 and seven, I think they are. And, man, who knows? Who, who, who knows what, what's going to happen? Are they going to pick it up? Are they never going to get it together? What's What's the deal? And that's a tackle for loss for Drew Tranquil. Nope, Troy Apke. Kind of having a good season so far. Late in the first. What are you doing? I'm going to go hard flats because that shuts him down for some reason. And he drops the ball. Bro, your wide receiver catching is on 90. I don't know. I don't know. This has nothing to do with me. I guess whatever. We just have great defenders. <laughs> I don't know what to say, bro. Nice. That's a first down again for Kareem. Six rush, 33 yards. 5.5 on the ground. Um, I really don't know they would double Dorian Dale on this. There's a safety there, but he could just be coming down. And yeah, they're one-on-one -on -one right there. Let's see what they give him. And Dorian Dale goes up and gets it. 
<laughs> oh my god. A little too easy, man. This is like... I don't know. I mean, if I have a one-on-one -on -one shot with Dorian, I am going to take it. He does get a little shove there. Creates a little separation and just comes down with the ball inside the end zone. What do you want him to do? What do you want me to do? I don't... Like, I don't know. This is a little, like, you know? I'm trying to make this series entertaining, but it's hard when the other team just absolutely shits the bed. Especially in the first quarter. It's already 21 to 0. Big fuck, Not big fumble. Should have been a big fumble, but a big run by Max Murray to end the first half to get their first first down of the game. And we are blitzing y'all like how. Come here. Kenneth Murray with the tackle for loss. Matt Breida. Not looking too good. Wow. We played horrible and we fucking make him fumble, but there's no one over there to uh, pick up the ball. Another big hit. Um, yeah, I'm think I'm running hard flats a little too much because some of these situations don't call for hard flats. Honestly. Come here. That should be a tackle for loss for Kenneth Murray, honestly. But it's gonna be actually his for Kenneth Murray. Now he's in the zone. And there you go, Chandler Wilson now attack for loss. This is the most yards they gain, but also it's looking the same. It's just looking the same for them, bro. And he gets sacked by a Chandler Wilson again. So Chandler Wilson's Chandler Wilson. A Chandler Wilson so far in this se not season, this game. He had a sack and probably two tackles for loss. And they're going to take a, not a long field goal, but a pretty distance, I must say a pretty dis distanceable free field goal. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty field goal. They get it pretty easily. Putting it 3-21. to Finally getting some points on the board in the second quarter. And you would think by the score, it's not the second quarter. It'd be going to the third quarter. But no, it's definitely just reached the second quarter. And so far in this game, um, offense has been kind of flawless. We have not seen no mistakes. Dorian Dell, catching the ball at ease, already has two touchdowns for himself. As a ambulance, cop car, some type of vehicle is passing by that is very annoying. There we go. Outrun. He's outrunning him. Oh my god, bro. Why is this game so easy right now? We just gained a whole bunch of yards on a whole lot of nothing. I waited for something to get open. Klomak was literally shedding. Not immediately, but he was fighting those blockers a lot. And you see he was right there. But we just get the nice pass. Nice run up the catch. Have a defender chasing us. Defender can't catch. Joe Reed is the speedster himself. We're just going to flip the play because I do not like running on the right side because it's obviously coming back. Right? No way. How did I get a touchdown off of this? Oh my god. This is, this is annoying. This is so annoying. I should not be scoring off of shit like this. This was a clear tackle in space. They didn't even dive, reach for me. Nothing. 
They just let me walk in. I think they're trying to top the Dolphins. Like, what they let us do, they're trying to eclipse that. And even though we're up by a lot, no one is still high five with Tom Brady. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, bro. Why do I hate Tom? What's wrong? Tom is not under his reign of terror no more in New England or even in recent memory in Tampa. All right, they actually get a good run. Tariq Cohen somehow falling down after juking. Gets his first 10-yard rush of the game. Well, they get their first 10-yard rush of the game, we're being honest. Oh, you lucky. All right, they're actually rushing the ball pretty decently here. And you know what that means. We don't like y'all rushing the ball, so I'm going to blitz y'all. Horribly, I'm going to blitz y'all. There we go. Who is this? Derwin James with the sack. Not able to go anywhere on that. Let's see what Hard Flats is here. Hard Flats actually hasn't been working for us today. Because he actually takes shots. Alright, good. Good defense. Good defense. I kind of reacted a little bit late, but it still worked out for us. Alright, they're going. They're actually going for it because they need to. They're down by a lot. And they're passing out of this. Wow. Alright, um... Aloy Gilman did not really play it the way I expected him to. I expected him to try to make a catch on that. He just didn't at all. And they get their first touchdown right there. All right. Max actually takes some shots, which I do like out of it. I like this quarterback a lot. He takes some shots. A lot of quarterbacks don't take shots against us. As most of our safeties are not that good. Mr. Adley's a decent safety. Derwin James some, mostly plays in the middle for us. Aloy Gilman, as we've seen, didn't really get burned, just didn't react. Troy Abke also plays in the middle for us. So it was like, you know, that's how it be. Nice catch. Keeping the streak live at 7 for 7 on the day. I'm actually going to challenge and saying we didn't get both feet in. Um, this is not really a game changer for y'all at all. But, I mean, who knows? It might be. And, well, you know, y'all lost. <laughs> y'all literally just lost that for no reason. Alright, there's Blitzer, so I'm going to block everybody on my line, including my running backs. Might look to throw it to Dorian Dale. And we're actually not going to throw it to Dorian. We're going to do that. Nobody catches him. Still on his feet. Nice little catch with Joe Reed. Having a good game so far. Don't know what's going to get open. I feel like nothing. Actually, who else but Joe Reed? Eats a nice little tackle. Does really oh, come on? You're right in front of him. And we're gonna take a 33 yard field goal. That's gonna put us up 31 to 28. It's all right. It's all right. That was probably one of our worst drives yet. So we'll take that every time. That's gonna be one of our worst drives yet. They're going to try to score here with a minute left in this quarter, or in this half, technically. And we'll see if we can get a stop. They're not running, and I'm stuck on the line. They don't get out of bounds. Yeah, they don't. They're going to hurry up right here. Running more. There we go. Nice tackle in space. I have to call a timeout. They yeah, like not to. There we go. Now they call timeout. 16 seconds left in the game. 
We're going hard flat. Even though I've not been working against this team. And he actually gets out of bounds because I'm trying to hit stick him. Not smart by me. Alright, they're going to try to kick a long field goal here. Kick is up. Kick looks very short, and it is very short. So we might have... Nah, we're not going to get a chance to score, if we're being honest. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. We will get ball. So... Throwing his feet. Oh my god, Kareem. And you get a flag. Kareem is a monster. Face match. It's going to be automatic first down. 15 yards. That was horrible. It's not even that the board didn't have good placement. Um... I feel like it was a panic throw by me, even though I didn't. I had no reason to panic. Like, honestly, there was no real reason to panic. This feels like a run. It's not a run. But then again, there's no one in that spot. Big hit, Nasir Adley. Popping these receivers today. There we go. That should be. Oh, that's Derwin James. Thought it was gonna be um, what's his face today? Can't think of the dude's name. Kenneth Murray. I really thought that'll be Kenneth. Easy. That's a uh, pick six. Very easy. <laughs> Come on, man. Fifth interception seems for Derwin James. He's having a decent season. Not what we kind of wanted. He had a better season last year, obviously, but still a good season nonetheless. He's going to put a 38 to 10. After he threw an interception, they were driving down the field in a good way, and Derwin just ruins all of that. Derwin, the party pooper, James. Let's go, fellas. Back on defense. I think I like playing defense the most. I think even in basketball and football, I like playing defense the most. I like being on defense in basketball. I like being on defense in football. It, it shows your IQ a lot. It really does. More than the offense. Obviously, you have to figure out the um, offense and stuff when you're on defense. I mean, you have to figure out the defense when you're on offense. That's what I meant to say. But it just really shows how smart you can be. Um, on defense. This just shows your IQ how smart you are when you're playing defense because you really have to figure out on the fly. Like, I mean, both sides could do that, but that's like defense one. <laughs> I don't know where I was trying to go with that, but I'm here. Should have been tackled for loss. If Emmanuel Mosley could have just fucking engaged with him and stopped being a plugged in. He's actually going to run. He's actually short. They should go for this. They're not. I mean, fourth and two. You give this, you give horrible field position. So, I get it. Let me focus on Kareem Hunt with his rushes. I think we are. We had a big rush in the second, probably first quarter, honestly. And that was a very uh, key one for him. And he has 10 rushes, probably 70-something yards on a day. Very key. Let's we'll see what gets open. There you go, Hunter. Big catch. Probably your first catch of the day. That puts him on 5,000 receiving yards again. They told us that last week. What a late throw, but it worked. I wanted to go Hunter. He was really covering that left side. Had to wait for that route to complete for... You know who I'm talking about.
Ah, oh, he actually fumbled. Oh my god. That's another turnover on today's game. This is a joke. <laughs> that ball was in the air for so long, and there was just nobody there. Gonna run actual hard flats on this one. Yo, hit him. That's me. I know he throws right at me, and he really did. Big hit. Oh, my God. Derwin did it again. Derwin did it again. Derwin has done it again. I feel like this is the third straight week in a row where Derwin has stopped a play on a one-yard line. Bro, that's not a... If that's not like a defensive player of the year type play, I don't know what it is, honestly. This could be a safety, so let's... Let's not get safetyed. All right, we actually got out the end zone somehow right there. Oh, man. If I could get out of this, I will throw. All right, we're kind of out of it. And I can't really be intercepted either. There you go, Joe. And we are getting out of the end zone, our own end zone. Let's see. Yeah, they're not trying to give me the one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be an easy catch for Joe Reed again. 320 yards on the day. Might run the ball a little bit right here. There you go, Ronald. Nice one. Three rushes, 22 yards for him on the day. That's no way that's not a catch. That's crazy, bro. Yo. I guess, bro. I guess we're just going to take our uh, points. Put it 41 to 10. Uh, we're number one in takeaways. We had two today. So that's great. Yeah, I don't think this is a team run hard flats on because they don't really go short. Like, that's not their intentions to go short. And he catches that. All right. It's not bad. Are they actually running a screen? It actually worked out for them. Interesting. Nice little play call. Had me confused. They actually hold on to that somehow, which is incredible. Running another blitz. Not a blitz, running some more man, actually. No way he almost caught that on two. When one of my fucking uh, guys who was on him, like, almost entered it. Like, come on, bro. Can you, good. Come on, can you make a play, bro? Turn around. Look for the ball. Do you even know where you're at on the field? They're punting. All right. <laughs> you went for it on fourth down there, and then you're like, you know what? We're just going to punt right here. We don't even have a chance. Well, you had no chance because you have no chance, and you had no fucking chance. Bro, he's not even trying to make a play on the ball. I hate when my receivers do that. 
Because there's no real reason why he's not trying to make a play on the ball. Uh, there's nobody. Is he going to come back for the ball? Nope. Good catch. Oh my god. That should be over a hundred, right? Yep, on twenty five. Great. What a catch by Dorian. That actually worked out fucking perfectly. Rolling out, throwing on a run, wide open, back of the end zone. Easy catch for Dorian. That is going to end the game. No, no, not really, but technically. And he actually high-fived everybody on the bench. Tom gets a high-five. Tom got a high-five. Oh, my God. Tom actually got a high-five from him. It finally happened in week, what, 14? Uh, Tom, I'm going to have to re-sign you for that. You actually got a high five. That is the end of the game here in Chicago. Your final is 48 to 10. Um, complete dominance from the opening. I was here to the opening bell. Do we even have open bells? I don't even know if that's what you would call it. Yeah, complete dominance, man. We just really dominated this team. We averaged 10, play, 10 yards per play. Um, they were 6 yards per play. They were actually playing decent on offense, but once again, this is the thing about our team is that we do not let you get inside. We don't let you score. We, don't, we can let you get close to the red zone, but you will not get inside that red zone. It will be very hard for you to score inside that red zone. Justin Herbert had a very good game today, minus the intro. 366 yards, uh, three touchdowns, one interception. Max Murray had a good game too, 302, one interception, one touchdown. Not bad. He didn't miss six throws, only missed nine or eight or 11. Somewhere in those numbers. Rushing the balls, Kareem Hunt rushed 17 times for 125 yards, 7.3 on the ground, two touchdowns. They could not stop him. Thought, thought the run wouldn't be effective today, but it turns out it was. Matt Breeder had a horrible game. He <laughs> a yard, basically, on the ground. Max Murray averaged more than him. Ron Jones also averaged more than him with 328 yards. And Tariq Cohen was actually a good uh, receiver. He was a good running back, too. Looking at our receiving stats. Uh, we had a very good game. Joe Reed, another good game. 11 catches, 185 yards, zero touchdowns. So. Tony Burton had a good game, four catches, 81 yards. I say Tariq Cohen was a good receiver, 10 catches, 65 yards. Dorian Dale, three catches, 61 yards, three touchdowns. All his three receptions were touchdowns. That's crazy. That's a crazy stat. But defensively, tackles for loss. Chen also had five tackles for loss this game. That's nuts. That is crazy. That's actually insane. I don't know. Either I wanna I wanna put in terms on the title, but he didn't really have a like a standout game per se. But he did have five tackles lost and a sack. That kind of deserved player of the week in my opinion. With uh six tackles in total. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I don't know. Dermot Angels had a good game. I might put Dorian on the, car, the the thumbnail because that's a very interesting thumbnail. All his receptions were touchdowns. It's kind of crazy. And we kind of held them scoreless almost the whole game except that third quarter. We stay undefeated here in week 14. Um, we could have a whole undefeated season to be going to win the Super Bowl too. That will be very impressive. Or very embarrassing if we actually get eliminated in the first round of our playoffs, which is we'll, we'll be the divisionals. Yeah, we took care of it. 500 XP for all our quarterbacks. Nice. Tom Brady getting some XP. And 14-0. Bears move on to 5-0. We're facing the Colts next week. I feel like we should have a breakout player in this week. And we actually do. It's going to be Joe Reed getting his finally getting a breakout play. He has been playing very well in these recent weeks. He had over 100 yards in 
about three weeks in a row, I believe, which is exceptional. They are 6 and 8. They are fighting for a playoff spot, I believe. They actually might be in. They're actually not. They're actually fighting with the Chiefs. Let's check out how the AFC is looking. So, AFC West, um, 2 8 and 6 teams. Broncos are probably out of contention at this point. Yeah, 2 8 and 6 teams. We are 14 and 0. And, yeah, so we're looking very, very bad. <laughs> for everybody else to not name the Chargers. So we probably clinched already. We're in the playoffs, locked in, number one seed. No one could take us out. Yeah, definitely no one could take us out because even if we do lose our next, what, two to three games, we will only be 14 and what, three, 14 and two, something like that. And the best the Browns could do is be, what, 12 and four. So, yeah, we can't be taken out of this first seed. And uh, where are the Colts? Yeah, the Colts are done for. They would need a lot of teams to lose. I don't think any of these teams are actually going to lose. They might get lucky if something happens like that, but not really looking to happen. Uh, Seahawks are actually a number two seed now. They're actually tied with the Packers. Are they both in the MC West? No, they're actually not in the MC West. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, we could check out our the soup, not soup roast. Um, What's it called? MVP and stuff like that. It's, just, it's not going to happen. Russell Wilson is just... Uh, he's just too dominant, man. He's too good right now. We could check what like he's doing. But he's too fucking good right now. It's impossible to get that. Yeah. he He's about to have 40... Inter 40... Inter 40... Um, well, basically, to end his stats off, this is what I'm gonna guess. He's gonna have, he's gonna have 4,700 yards, anywhere from 47 to 5,000 passing yards, and then he's gonna have somewhere to 45 touchdowns to 10 or less interceptions. Let me say 12 or less interceptions on the season. He's just not gonna play that bad. I mean, we're third in passing yards. We would need to have like. At least a 500 yard game to like debunk him in a sense, but our interceptions are very bad. We have thrown 18 interceptions, probably the most of a starting quarterback in this league, especially a high caliber starting quarterback. And he's almost averaging 300 yards per game. We're like 20 yards off from that, or well, from him. It's tough, but Kareem is just. In a world of his own, though, if we look at him yards, he has about 100 more yards on Zeke Elliott. Um, 10 more touchdowns. Who has the most touchdowns next to him? Yeah, he almost has five more touchdowns. Well, he does have five more touchdowns in this instance. More than anybody. He averages probably the most yards per game. Yeah, I mean, Zeke Elliott is like three yards off. Yards for yards off that contact, that, that should matter. Yeah, he averaged most yards after contact. That's that should mean for something. Kind of went over everything. We have breakout player next week and um, Joe Reed. I believe that's Joe Reed, right? Does look like a Chandler Rosso too. He actually goes to the picture and look. No, it's actually Chandler Rosso as a breakout player. Wow. I mean, you have been playing well. Is Trayvon Tapp close to revealing himself? Not in that way. Not really. Probably going to see at the end of the season. But anyways, um, yeah. We have breakout playing in Chandler Wilson. Um, he deserves it. He's been playing well. We thought it was Joe Reed. Joe Reed does deserve it, too. They both deserve it. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> um, how's that going to do for us? We are looking for undefeated season at this point. I was looking for more entertaining games, but no. Now I'm looking for undefeated season. Undefeated season. I want to kill every team I face. That's what I'm going to do each episode now. I'm going to look to kill each every team. Each and every team I face. Now, some of my words, I'm getting out of here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you are not subscribed already. I'll see you in the next video. But, until next video, peace. Hey, bro, let me smoke with you, bro. No, 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 no. Roll us some gases, ain't fun to dispense. Blood, that's the expensive. Mother designer, yeah, he said Balenciaga.